Welcome to Journey Java FX. This is the uh, season two episode number twelve. Uh, in this episode, we are going to create a method which is going to collect all our UI uh, information and pack it into a model, and then use a uh, you know the method we created before called insert one record, insert all of things you know into the database. All right, that's the plan for this episode. Let's get started. Um, before we doing that, I have you know copy paste all my um, variables for our controller, so it's all in place, and uh, I also have associate them to our controls, right? You know you can see the ID and stuff, so now they can talk to each other, and then let's go back. Um, before we do that, we need to handle another thing. It's also related to date, so the date for now is more like a string. Right, uh, str dt. The value will looks like this. So for today, for example, 2021, uh, 12, uh, 22. We need to turn this into our, you know, integer data format. So how to do that? We're gonna say this. Mm, okay. So let's create another one. Let's let's say string. Yeah, just call it string. It, 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 it's going to be um, str dt dot substring uh, from zero to four, you know, from the column zero to column four. And the plus, if I put a uh, semicolon here, plus this um, str dt dot substring uh, from, so this one will be four, Five, okay, so five to seven, I think. We can test it from strdt.substring. Um, it's 10, so I believe it's gonna be nine to, yeah, nine to the end. And let's just uh, s out p8 str. Test it quick. Okay, test. All right. Um, no. Looks like we miss one of it. Um, maybe not five. Let's do the first part first. Yeah, sometimes we need to work with the uh, you know the prediction stuff. Okay, so this part is cool. So must be something wrong with this. Probably it's number eight. Yeah, twelve twenty-two. That's perfect. Um, to be precise, let's use a uh, 29. Or um, 19 is better because uh, the numbers are not, you know, not the same. So we, we will know exactly. All right. So this function works. Uh, we are gonna wrap this into a uh, custom function. Let's uh, create a new package. Let's call it um, whatever, like um, my, yeah. And then create a uh, class inside of it. Let's call it um, mm, a date stuff, yeah, date stuff, okay. And then uh, inside of this, we're gonna have a public static method, which one, this one gonna return a integer, integer. And then let's say um, get int date from um, string. No, from ymd10. If you are familiar with the SAS, you, you, you know the name, right? YYMMDD10. That's the, you know, data format. So instead of this, we're gonna pass in a string. STR is okay. Then uh, open it. So then we're gonna copy in this part. So the string will be this. Uh, return. Okay. So this one will be string. Um, oh, we already have the string, right? So now we need a integer dot parsing this one into a parsing all of this as an integer. 
right? So we're going to copy this. Make sense? And then return the whole thing. Yeah, that's it. From string. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to copy paste this method name back to our controller. We're going to use it here. Mm, strdt. So this one going to be my dot data stuff dot get. Let's test it again. Make sure you know it's working in the way we want. And then we are ready to uh, pack them up. All right, perfect. So this one going to be just study it here for now. On the next line, we're going to say model dot story story equals to new model dot story the constructor. Um, okay, so. Oh, I made a mistake before. Remember, I removed the uh, the um, uh, integer ID from the constructor for some reason. I I don't even know. So I put it back. All right, this part is just uh, slightly uh, touch up. So now what we are going to need the first one going to be int, right? So the int will be a integer dot parse int text the field id dot get text right because we are receiving a text whether we got to parse it into it and then over here we are going to have the integer so then we're going to use this function right beside passing in this string we're going to say uh, date picker dot date dot to string Right, so then we are converting the whole string into a uh, integer, our kind of data format. And the next will be string tag. This one is easy. Text um, tag dot get text. Right. Uh, next one will be the title uh, text field title dot get text. And the next one will be the folder folder dot get text. The next, oops, hold on. Next will be the double hours. Okay, so the double hour we're gonna parse it. Uh, double dot parsing double um, text field hours hours dot get text right. And the next one we will give them. Yeah, this one will uh, have a null value, so we're gonna give it a initial value first. I mean, right, right after this, um, the last one will be HTML. So it's gonna be HTML editor dot get HTML text, right? So now we finish the uh, constructor. Um, before that, I'm gonna make a copy of this one. Say uh, not date pick initializer. We're gonna call it um, text field um, hours initializer, right? So in this one, we're gonna give a value to it by default. It's uh, necessary text field hours dot set text equals to. Let's give it one, right? Just uh, yeah, by default, it's okay. And then we're gonna call this method inside of our initialize part, right? So then um, the field will always have value. We don't need to worry about it. So it's all initialized. And then um, what else we need to do? Now we have the model. Okay, let's just print it out. Um, do we have a method inside of the model? So let me just uh, collapse all of them. Integer, setter, getter, setter. No, not yet. Um, let's create one. Okay. So uh, public. Oops. Public. Um, string. Print. Yeah, that's about it. And then. Um, String str equals to um, int id dot to string plus um, something like this pipe space 
a pass. I'm gonna copy paste this part. All right, equal to next one int dot date dot to string and uh, str tag title border yeah, double double we're gonna parse it right so hours dot to string okay and str html dot no this one is already tags and then uh, str content all right i think th that's it right and then we do a printout um i saw the p just to say str right but before this we need to handle something um the id because sometimes when we insert a new record then we don't have the id right so we need to handle the str id right so in this one it will be equals to um i int id um equals to null then it will return a dot it's also the sas thing you know um or just the int id int id dot to string right so in this way we're gonna replace it with this so it will handle whatever you know kind of a value of this uh, id thing okay then i'm gonna say void we don't have the printout and then go back to our controller so printout all right we don't need to uh, just uh, Sorry, dot print. So now it will print out directly, right? So now let's run again. Did I clean up the database? Okay. So now it's totally uh, blank. Totally blank. So the ID I gonna leave it alone. So the tag, say my tag, my title, my folder. And hours, 99 hours, uh, we spend a lot of time on this project. Perfect, let's do a test. Great, looks it's working. Uh, let's go back to our database, do a refresh. Look at that, we have everything, right? The IDs are automatic generated, and then we have this uh, whole HTML thing, and then the content is we spend a lot of time on this project. All right, I think, um, yeah, we achieved the goal of this episode. Then um, I'm going to see you in the next one. The next one going to be, I don't know, I got to think about it. All right, meet you all in the next one.